And Serene Brands has joined us in the studio this morning for her first live interview. Good to have you with us. I'm glad to be here, Erica. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling great. A little tired. This week's been a little exhausting, um, but I'm feeling like my old self again, finally. Which is great to hear. You first watched that video, which so many people have now watched, when you went back to work, back to KCBS. You sat there and watched it. Let's take a quick look at it again. Okay. CBS 2's Serene Branson is live at the Staples Center with highlights and backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time. Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Darrison those for the bit. They had the pit. What's it like for you to watch that? I've seen it a couple times now. It's still troubling to see because I know what was going through my mind at that time. I was terrified. I was scared. I was confused. I didn't know what was going on. And, and you, you said you didn't know what was going on, but what were some of the other things that were going through your mind? Because you clearly, you knew what you wanted to say. You had yeah. something planned. Right. Well, I knew something wasn't right as soon as I opened my mouth. I hadn't been feeling well a little bit before the live shot. I had a headache. My vision was very blurry. I knew something wasn't right, but I just thought I was tired. Mm -hmm. So when I opened my mouth, I thought, this is more than just being tired. Something is terribly wrong. I wanted to say Lady Antebellum swept the Grammys, and I could think of the words, but I could not they weren't coming out properly. So immediately after that, they toss to your piece and they take that on the air. You're off the air. What happened next? I was swarmed by three photographers and the field producer, Carrie Maller. They sat me down immediately. I dropped the microphone. Right after that, my cheek went numb. My hand went numb. My right hand went numb. Um, and I, I started to cry. I was scared. I didn't know what had gone on. And I was embarrassed and fearful. And they called the paramedics. They called the paramedics. Paramedics came. You didn't go to the hospital. I didn't. They checked my vitals. Uh, they checked my blood pressure, my temperature, said I was OK. They asked if I wanted to go to the hospital at that point. It was late. I was scared, nervous, confused, exhausted, in an evening dress in the yeah. back of an ambulance. I said, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. So then you wake up the next morning. Right. And what, at what point did you realize how big this had become and how much speculation there was as to what had happened to you? I hadn't been on the internet. Obviously, I looked at my phone and it was inundated with phone calls. Uh, I spoke with my best friend in the morning, obviously my mother and work immediately, but I spoke with my friend and I, I didn't have any idea at that point because obviously work and my family were so concerned about my health at mm -hmm. that point. But my friend said something about seeing it on the news and I went, the news? And even at that point, I said, gosh, I hope it doesn't make it on YouTube. Too late. <laughs> it was already there probably by that point. Yeah. And I, your, your parents had actually seen it happen. Yeah. My, my parents watch every night. I talked with my mother earlier in the day. She was excited to see how my hair looked that night after the <laughs> Grammys. And I know she'd been watching, and she was terrified. Um, but interestingly enough, she, I talked to her the next day, and she said, this is a condition that I think I may have had. So let's get you right to a neurologist and get you checked out. So you did. You got checked out. You found that it wasn't a stroke, though there had been much speculation that that was, in fact, it happened. It was a severe migraine. Had you ever had a migraine before? No. I'd had headaches throughout my life, but never really what I would have called a migraine. Um, and the doctor ran lots of tests. I saw some of the best doctors in the world, top neurologists and cardiologists. They ran tests for three days. I was there for nine hours Monday, <laughs> back for nine hours the next day. And finally, they diagnosed me with migraine aura, um, which is much more serious than what people think of as a migraine.